Hi, I'm Julie from the Tax Practitioners Board. Today I'm going to give you a quick look at how to access our new online portal and multi-factor authentication process. Multi-factor authentication provides a way of double checking that you're really the person you're claiming to be when you log into your online accounts. We take online security very seriously at the Tax Practitioners Board. That's why we use this additional security measure to further enhance your online security and to ensure your online transactions with us are secure. Every time you log in to my profile to access your account, you will be taken through a multi-factor authentication process. This additional layer of security is in line with Australian government standards. When you select my profile from our website, you'll be asked to sign in and provide your username and password. To do this, simply click the sign in or create a new account button. If you are an existing registered tax practitioner signing into our new portal for the first time, as part of the transition, it is necessary to choose a new password. When setting up your new password, you will be required to validate your identity with your existing username and the email address associated with your account. Once you have understood that a new password is required, simply click got it and this message will no longer appear. Next, enter your username and new password and select the sign in button. If you are a new user, you will need to create an account. To create your new account, simply select the Sign Up Now button. Next, choose and enter a username and password. When selecting your password, it will need to have a minimum of eight characters. You will also need to use a combination of at least three of the following, lowercase letters, uppercase letters, numbers, and special characters such as hashtag, dollar sign or percent. Here you will also need to add your email address associated with your account so we can send you a verification code. After entering your email address, select the send verification code button. Once you have your verification code, simply enter it ensuring you have not included any spaces before or after the number. Then click the Verify Code button. Next, you can select your preferred multi-factor authentication option. You can nominate either your mobile phone number or email address. Remember to choose carefully as it cannot be changed once selected. Enter your mobile phone number or email address and select the send code button for an SMS or email code. Alternatively, you can select the call me button for an animated callback. Your code will be sent to you via email or SMS, whichever you have selected. Your code will be sent instantly, but please allow up to 10 minutes to receive it. Once you have received your code, you can key it in and select Verify Code. You will have 10 minutes to enter your code before it expires. If the code does expire, you must request a new code using the Resend Code button. You will now be directed to your My Profile account. OK. Let's go back now and walk through the steps for an existing user. Once you select My Profile from our website, you simply select the Sign In or Create a New Account button. Enter your username and password and click the Sign In button. The system will remember which multi-factor authentication option you have previously selected, so all you need to do is select the send code or call me button. Once again, just enter the verification code sent to you and select verify code. 
It's important to ensure your contact details, including your email address and mobile number, are up to date with us. To check or update your details, visit my profile at tpb.gov.au forward slash my profile. Alternatively, you can update them by using our contact us form at tpb.gov.au forward slash contact.